Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. What a blessing it is to be with you again today. Even though Sundays don't look the same, we're thankful that we can still feel the presence of God no matter what situations we're going through. We thank you for spending this time with us and we appreciate all of your efforts. We thank you for liking our videos and we thank you even more for sharing. So we ask that you continue again to click like and click share as we enter into service. Have a blessed week.
his Holy Spirit in humanity to do his ministry. There are many things about the treasure that we need to keep in mind when we think of uh, this heavenly treasure, which is God's holy word that is planted by his Holy Spirit. Uh, he, I'm saying he because I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, he converts us and transforms us into what he would have not only does that, but he also put his power, his divine power, his divine nature within us. Once we become born again, we have the same divine nature that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had. Jesus recognized the fact that if, if we were going to do his ministry, that we had to have this earthly, uh, uh, this covenant treasure. Told his disciples, I want you to go back to Jerusalem and I want you to wait until you receive uh, this treasure from on high, which is the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes, and then I want you to be witnesses for me. Mm. Uh, this treasure is the light that Jesus brought unto the world. For he came into the world and he said, I am mm. the light of the world. And not only did he say that he was the light of the world, he said, Look, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But he placed that light in us, that heavenly treasure, that light. He placed it in us, and then he said that after he put it in us, he said that ye are the light of the world. Before he left, he said, uh, I want you to do something. I want you to let your light shine before men, uh, that they may see your good works and glorify the Father. We must keep in mind that this earthly vessel is not perfect, but God put his perfect treasure uh, in earthly vessels. Uh, amen. None of us are what we ought to be, but uh, 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 God doesn't select us on, uh, on the basis of uh, who we are or what we are, uh, but he selects us on the basis of what we can become. Uh, if he just allows us to, uh, to put the uh, put his heavenly treasure on the inside. And if he put his treasure uh, in us, then we can say like Paul says in Galatians 2 and 20, Paul says, for I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live not uh, yet I, but he said, Christ live in me. But the life which I live, now I live by faith in the Son of the living God. Once that light is in us, then we ought to live for him. And we ought to let our light shine, not trying to get glory ourselves, but we lift him up. Yes, yes, he said, if you lift me up, he said, I'll get the glory. Paul said, for me to live is Christ, but for me to die is gain. Yes, Without the heavenly treasure, I'm trying to tell you, we are nothing. And I know sometimes we kind of get lifted up in pride. We kind of feel like we are somebody because of what we are doing and what God is accomplished through us. We think that we are really more than what we are. But the record is that you are very best that you are no more than filthy rags in the sight of God. We are nothing but what God, what God put in us is what makes us. Uh, uh, 
you don't have to worry about being persecuted because he said, uh, because I will never forsake you. Well, I'll be with you. He said, uh, you, you may even get cast down and, 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 and amen, knocked down, uh, but you won't be destroyed. Uh, you, you see, people will knock you down. Sometimes those folks that you, amen, uh, you do the most for. Sometimes they're the ones who knock you down. But, but don't worry about it because if, if, if they knock you down, God can pick you up. Uh, so I hear him saying in, in Matthew uh, uh, 28 and 20, he says, Go and let the light shine. And he said, Don't worry about how things are going to be. He said, Because learn with you. Always, even. to him against that day. All you got to do is, amen, uh, make sure you have that uh, heavenly trick. Make sure you have it on the inside. And if you got it in you, I want to tell you, uh, amen, you, uh, and I like, and let me, let me say this right here, I like how Jesus said, he said, uh, uh, let your light shine. Uh, and I, I interpret that as not, as meaning that it, you, you, you don't wonder whether you have it, but 
Because if you've been saved, you know you got it. And he said, look, if you don't do nothing to hinder it, it will shine. Uh, if, if, you, if, if you don't uh, 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 mess it up or, 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 or darken the, the, the globe around the light, uh, the light will shine. Uh, so he said, let your light shine. But you can't let it shine unless it's in you. Oh, I'm glad about that. I'm glad that I can testify to that. Many years ago, I received that heavenly treasure. And that heavenly treasure is on the inside. I think about the songwriter that wrote the song. He said, something is within me that holdeth the rain. Something within me, uh, amen, that banished the pain. Something is within me I can't explain. All I know. There is something within. You ought to know it for yourself. Can't nobody know it for you. You got to know it for yourself. But if you know there's something within you, you don't have to worry. But just wait on God. Uh, do the best you can and wait on the Lord. For the record is, if you wait on him, he said, uh, you will, uh, amen, uh, gain your strength. And you mount up with wings like eagles. You run and you won't even get tired. I say, wait, wait, wait on the Lord. And everything will be all right. God bless you. May he sanctify and keep you. Something within. Something within. Make sure. That you have that heavenly treasure on the inside. And if you do that, you'll do well. May God bless you. May he sanctify and keep you. Amen. The Mount Zion Finance Committee has made it possible for you to give your tithes and offerings by mail, online at the church's website, www.mountziononline.org, and in person on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m.
found message and I want to say to all of you who heard this message today, I want to ask you a question. Are you saved? The greatest tragedy that anybody can have at this day and time is to die and not uh, have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, the coronavirus is not the greatest tragedy. The greatest tragedy is to die and not have a relation with Jesus Christ. We extend an invitation to you if you are not saved God gave his only son, Jesus, and Jesus gave his life on Calvary, that whosoever will believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. All you have to do is to believe in God, believe in Jesus Christ, believe that he is Jesus, the son of God, and believe that he died for your sin. And the Bible says, thou shalt be saved. We extend to you an invitation. If you are not saved, we're going to ask that you will call Call my number, 601-859-4267, and we will be glad to uh, accept your confession. Maybe you are out of fellowship with the church and you need to renew your membership. We also invite you, just give us a call. We'll be glad to talk with you. Or maybe you're in this community and you don't have a church home and you're looking for a church home. 
Just give us a call. To the new safety standards, we encourage everyone to stay safe and healthy by practicing social distancing, staying at least six feet apart from other individuals, and washing and sanitizing your hands for at least 20 seconds. Follow us on social media for church news and more. Thank you for worshiping with us.